I'm going to show you how you can manage stream delay in OBS, YouTube, and Twitch all in today's video in a couple of minutes. So let's get into the video, leave a like if anything helps. For OBS, this is very simple. You go to settings by clicking on settings down here at the right bottom hand corner. Um, when your settings page will pop up, uh, you want to click on the advanced tab down here. That's the advanced tab. Check out the stream delay box over here. And here you can change all the settings that are available for uh, stream delay in OBS, basically. So if you want to enable a stream delay, you click on enable, check this box. If you want to disable it, disable it. And I'm going to have it enabled. And then you can basically change the duration of how long of a delay you want or how short of a delay you want. If you don't want any delay at all, obviously, as I did say, you want to uncheck this box. But uh, say I want to have a 15 second delay like that. And then this box preserve cutoff point when recording. This should be on because then basically if your stream tries to reconnect, there is a problem with your stream then uh, it will increase the delay so you have more time to solve this problem essentially. You can also enable automatically reconnect so if there is a problem with your stream, um, say there is something that makes so your stream doesn't work and it has to reconnect and such, uh, you can enable this and what this does is so it is basically there is a little delay between these reconnects so it doesn't try to reconnect all the time and you can also set it maximum amount of retries. If you want to enable automatically reconnect, then I would really recommend to just have the default one with 10 seconds and 20 maximum retries. And when you are done, click on apply down here and your changes to your stream delay settings will be changed. For Twitch, you want to click on your profile picture at the right upper hand corner and then go to your creator dashboard. So essentially go to your creator dashboard. And when you are at your creator dashboard, you want to take a look at your left and click on the settings section and from there the stream tab when you are over here you should see a box saying latency mode and here there are two settings the first one which is low latency this sh you should choose if you want to have a very short delay on the stream you want to be able to interact with your viewers real time and then there is also this uh, setting called normal latency and this is for people that well i don't know gamers just casual gamer streamers or whatever that don't want to interact with their streamers like in real real time live so essentially the normal latency setting makes so there is a slight delay on the stream while the low latency only has a very very short delay like in one second or something um, so you can interact with your viewers live. For YouTube again you want to click on your profile picture at the right upper hand corner and then go to your YouTube studio or just go to your YouTube studio in any way and when you have uh, come to your YouTube studio uh, you actually want to go to your live stream page and you come here by uh, clicking on the live stream icon over here uh, if you hold your mouse on it it should say go live and here at the stream settings we should see stream latency and i'm going to go through all of these so if you want n basically no delay at all essentially have ultra low latency if you want a slight delay but not much at all you can have low latency or if you want a bit longer delay but not too much you have normal latency. You can also add extra delay on YouTube by clicking on this box saying added the delay and either add 30 seconds of delay or one minute of delay. Now, just be aware of that. If you want to have 30 extra seconds of delay, you need to use the normal latency, um, stream latency setting because otherwise YouTube won't allow you to have an extra added delay. Be sure to leave a like on this video if, if you found anything helpful and leave your questions in the comment section down below. And with that said, uh, thank you for watching. See you next video. Starks out.